Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, once again, the lack of an update this week and why I actually don't think we're going to get one here in June. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more PvE content. And talking about subscribing, we are actually about 100 subscribers away from actually surpassing my original YouTube channel, Aces Gaming, where I upload like Call of Duty and stuff. But... I have always had more subscribers on that channel than the Tarkov channel, and we are about to witness history here in the next few days with the Tarkov channel finally succeeding more than the Call of Duty channel. This is a big moment for me, and I really just wanted to sit here and thank you guys for your support before we did get started, because I obviously love Tarkov way more than Call of Duty. I think all of us do. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you, and I can't wait to see us hit that goal and to continue to uh, keep going up. So thank you for that. Let's hop into it here today, my friends. Once again, let's just take a look at the roadmap to see what we missed out on this month because I don't think we're going to get an update. So mainly because I don't want to regurgitate everything that I talked about last week. If you want to see what we are probably going to miss out on, you can watch the video I uploaded. I think it was last week sometime around like the 22nd or 23rd because we did not receive any updates on the 20th when I originally anticipated we get an update. Now it is currently the 28th. I anticipated an update yesterday and I told you in the last video that we made about this topic that if we did not receive one on the 27th that I would make a follow-up video. That's this video. So we are missing a few things. We're missing the PvE AI changes, just the balancing changes in general. We are missing the standalone purchasable PvE edition, all of the quality of life improvements, the in-game pull system, and the PvE matching improvements. So, with that being said, it's most likely one of two things could happen. Number one, we see some sort of announcement at TwitchCon with BSG and Nikita. We see something that happens there to let us know there's going to be an update this weekend. I extremely doubt that. I think they are going to be very busy doing their own thing at TwitchCon, whatever they're doing. I haven't looked into it too much. I think that starts today. So it is possible maybe they do some sort of in TwitchCon event kind of thing, and then they wrap up the in-game event with the military batteries. There was a technical update yesterday, so maybe that's what that was for. And, you know, maybe they do something fun there, and either by the time TwitchCon ends, there's an update, or during TwitchCon, there's something that happens. But number two, the most likely option is we're going to see the stuff that we're missing get pushed to July. Now, there isn't any patches or updates scheduled for july for the regular version of escape from tarkov but there is an arena patch that is scheduled for july of 2024 and that is the new map a new mode and quality of life improvements so will we see that get pushed back to late july or will we see them at the same time i have no idea i don't know if all of bsg is working on the tarkov stuff and then the arena stuff i don't know how they're doing it but it seems like we, we missed out on a lot of stuff for June. We, we did really well at the beginning of June, like two updates back-to-back, back-to-back -back weeks even. And uh, we had a really amazing update at the beginning of June, uh, amazing events. And this latest event, honestly, I didn't favor it too much, but that's just my personal opinion. The fact they did an event is still cool. But, you know, when it comes to when are we actually going to get this stuff that's in the roadmap listed as June 2024, if we don't get it in July... That scares me a bit because that means we would get it with the next patch in August. But if they're going to have to work on stuff that was promised for June, that's going to get released in August. What stuff here in August 2024 are we going to be missing out on? Are we still going to get all the new content that's being promised? What about the quality of life improvements that are coming in August? Are they just going to get mixed in with that? What about the technical improvements, the new weapons, the hideout expansions, which we've already seen some of that stuff showed off from Nikita. I've covered some of it here. Uh, the Circle of Sacrifice, for example. Uh, the audio optimization. That's a big one that a lot of people want. And the next one, the even better one, FPS optimizations on all locations. Uh, that's something we've been asking for forever. So hopefully none of that gets pushed back. And then once again, there is another arena patch for August 2024. They promised a lot of stuff here. And it's not looking too great. Now, don't get me wrong. I still think BSG and Nikita, they're all doing amazing. But if we are going to have a roadmap with certain things laid out, we should not be, you know, releasing certain things early and releasing certain things late, at least out of order of the roadmap. Now, don't get me wrong. Getting the armor adjustments was amazing, and I'm very thankful for that. But that was not scheduled for when we got it. We got it early, but now other stuff is delayed. I don't want to see that happening. We shouldn't be making a roadmap 
in a chronological order if we're not going to follow it that's just my opinion let me know what you think that's really all i have for you today i'm not going to continue to drag it out we did not see an update i do not think we're going to see one in the month of june we are missing five bullet points or six bullet points one of the two and uh it's a fair amount of stuff that we are missing that we were supposed to get in june and it's slightly concerning to me let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure you leave a like make sure you're subscribing i'll see you in the next video i'm out